Word of God. Good morning, Pastor. How are you? Hey, good morning. Happy Independence Day. Happy 4th of July. And the same to you. I know you got a lot of meat on the grill and stuff. Hey, well, you know, we're looking uh, and enjoying the day, and uh, we're looking for just some good rest and some good food. Hey, man, well, I know you got some food that everybody can use. I'm talking about the Word of God. Yes, ma'am, ready to share it. All right, join me now, Professor Mark Barrows, with Christ in Action. Take it away, Pastor. All right, indeed, delighted to be sharing good news that we all can use today. Well, on this day that the Declaration of Independence is celebrated in this nation, yeah, we celebrate today uh, and pray that we indeed will be and will carry out the true cre creed of our nation and that of on our currency that is in God we trust and that we indeed are. Uh, will discover and walk in the truth of being one nation under God, indivisible, committed to liberty and justice for all. Well, friend, talking about that, uh, we believe that God's design for us in Christ is to know, find freedom, discover our purpose, and fulfill our destiny in him. And uh, in so doing, we learn our importance of our dependency upon him. While uh, we celebrate on this day the Declaration of Independence, uh, is this uh, the group of people who had come here, sought to throw off what was considered to be tyranny of another nation, taxation without representation, and all of those things that subjugated people that they might form a, a nation uh, unto itself that was committed to its citizens. Well, we too know that our King, our Lord, our Savior, Jesus Christ, came into this world to liberate us, to make to, to make us free, for whom the Son shall make free. The Bible declares shall be freed indeed. Well, how do we find this freedom? It is in our continual dependence upon the Lord. We've been talking about transformation and particularly the mercies of God and how we uh, learn to recognize, honor, and reverence the mercies of God and uh, allow those mercies of God in our lives to begin to shape and direct us in, uh, in our thinking, our dependence, and trust upon God. See, God's desire for us is to, to trust him and depend upon him continuously. The Apostle Paul describes in 2 Corinthians chapter 12, a time in his life where he said that uh, he had been receiving great revelation from God and God was providing great insights to him. And uh, he was passing those revelations and insights on to all those about him in various nations. And he said, because of the abundance of revelations, there was a messenger of Satan delivered unto me to buffet me. And he said, I prayed about this three separate times. And each time, uh, what I heard the Lord say to me is that my grace is sufficient for you, for my strength is made perfect in weakness. You know, friend, he prayed in this way, this great apostle who understood the authority of the believer. It is him who taught us in 2 Corinthians chapter 10 that the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds, casting down imaginations and high things that exalt themselves against the knowledge of God. It is him who taught us in Ephesians chapter 6 that we are to be strong in the Lord and the power of his might, putting on the whole armor of God to stand against the wiles, the tactics of the devil, knowing that we wrestle not with flesh and blood, but principalities, powers, and wicked spirits. It's him who taught us in 1 Timothy chapter 6 and verse 12 that we are to fight the good fight of faith and lay hold uh, of eternal life. Well, this man found himself in a fight and in that fight, God spoke to him and told him that his strength was made perfect in his weakness and his grace was sufficient for him. What do you want me to get out of that? He said, after the third time, he said, I pondered it. I considered it. 
And I came to the point that I began to glory in my weakness, that the power of Christ might well rest upon a, upon me. What does that mean for you and I? You see, friend, we must glory in our recognition of our need for God and our dependency upon him, knowing that his grace is sufficient and he is ready at all times to show himself strong on the behalf of those whose hearts are upright before him, looking to him in faith, trusting him, uh, depending upon him, that the power of Christ may be brought to bear on our lives. Today, friend, as you celebrate <laughs> this holiday, celebrate your dependence upon God, declare it upon him, for he has said that he will show himself strong on the behalf of those who put their faith and trust in dependency upon him. This has been an outreach of Connected Church. Connect with us, connected-church.com. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and of course, right here on this Gospel Explosions Outreach to the Tennessee Valley and beyond. Every single day, where the dream of change remains alive and Jesus is our joy, knowing this, together, you and I are the difference that makes the difference as we awaken to God's purpose of knowing him and his love for us and mobilize to his mission of making him known and sharing his love with others. Happy 4th of July, Faithful. Happy 4th of July to you and your family. Just enjoy yourself, and uh, we're just going to give God all the glory today just for allowing us to see another 4th of July, just another day. That's it, just another day the Lord has kept up saying, hey, keep on blowing the gospel up through gospel explosions. And you have a great day on purpose now. Amen. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. All right. Well, yes, indeed. Do have a restful and joyful and peaceful 4th of July, however you choose to do it, whether it's resting and relaxing or with friends and family, or however you choose to do so. You may be working today, but whatever you do, trust in the Lord with all your heart. Declare your dependence upon him. And you know what you'll find? They that seek the Lord, he declares, shall not want for anything, that uh, he is a rewarder of those who in faith diligently seek him, believing not only that he exists and that he is, Hebrews chapter 11, verse 6, but that he is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. Again, happy Independence Day, happy Dependence Day upon our God and King. Remember this always, God loves himself some you, and we do too. You matter to God, and you matter to us. Have a great day on purpose. We'll talk to you again real soon. Bye-bye for now.